In this video, we're going to prove that the sum of two consecutive triangular numbers is a perfect square. Now, if you don't know what a triangular number, T1 is 1, T2 is 1 plus 2, T3 is 1 plus 2 plus 3, and of course, Tn will be 1 plus 2 up to n. 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. Why triangular numbers? Because we're going to make a triangle. That's T1. T2 has two rows. 1 and then 2. It forms a triangle. T3, it has three rows. It looks like that. And T4 would have four rows. And by the way, the number of dots is equal to Tn. This is T4, which you can see the first row has one number or one dot, second row two, third row three, fourth row four. This is 10. So if you don't know what triangular, if you didn't know what triangular numbers are, now you do. So I claim that if you have Tn and you add, say, the one before it, this is going to be a perfect square because Tn is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to n and tn minus 1 is just 1 plus 2 all the way up to n minus 1. Well, this here is just n times 1 more over 2 plus this sum is going to be n minus 1 times 1 more over 2. Now, both of these terms have n and 2 as factors. That is, we can factor out n over 2. And we're left with n plus 1 plus n minus 1. Well, of course, the 1 plus negative 1 cancels, and n plus n is 2n. The 2's cancel, and look at that. You get n squared. In fact, it's going to be, of these two, it's going to be the larger number square. So T7 plus T6 is going to be 7 squared, 49. T11 plus T10 will be the larger number square, 11 squared. But they have to be consecutive. And... I was actually surprised that this was true. I didn't know it until today. T sub n plus T sub n minus 1 is n squared. If you like videos where we prove things all the time, subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment stating whether or not you like this video. Most of all, watch and learn.